And uh, I think you uh, you had the you had a, our last story <laughs> for us. All right, all right. I laugh, folks, because you know on the rare occasion that Danny actually allows me to uh, you know pick Very a story. Rare. It, yeah, he, he doesn't. He is kind of a story Nazi. We've talked about that before. Uh, Danny likes to uh, control everything. So on the rare <laughs> occasion... I'd like to put out a quality product for our audience. I yada, care about yada, yeah, yeah, whatever. the quality of what we're doing here. Okay, mm. Forgive me for caring. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, the, the story, he allowed me to pick a story for the, this week's episode. And the story I picked, it was one of my favorite. And you know, usually the scam stories are Danny's thing. Usually he, you know, he has his favorite scam or whatever i came across this story it is from a couple of months ago but it just became irrelevant again uh in in 2020 the year that is 2020 a man out of seattle created a little website and a little company that before it was shut down made five hundred thousand that's a half, half the million dollars selling 5g repellent lotion 5g repellent lotion that i also found out today you can still buy from a company on ebay for 36.99 it's actually 36 even i'm looking at it right now. okay 36 dollars. i have a quick question for you yes sir why are you number one why are you calling this a scam it is a scam it was shut down it was shut down the company was shut down for for fraud It, it the company getting shut down does not equate it being a scam Okay, big, big network. Verizon doesn't want you to have the truth. I knew Danny would love this story. And I... number two, why do you want people's internals to get scrambled by 5G? Why do you want that for people? Uh, yes, it's spreading all the diseases all across the world. 5G right. and everything. Like, look, I, I love a good conspiracy theory. I find them entertaining. I don't believe any of them, but I find them entertaining. And a good conspiracy story... I believe story... some of them, man. Listen, I it was as anti-aliens or real as the next guy. <laughs> and I still am. But I'm just saying, at this point... There's it does not gonna take too much to convince me, right? It sounds good, right? Like it sounds it sounds good. But five G, I mean come on but then look, and here's where I partially agree with you. And and I agree with you that that scam is a harsh word in this case. There are true to life scams. We we did an sure. interview with a con artist and, and you know what I mean yeah. and all that kind of stuff. There are true to life scams. In this one, is it really a scam? Because the guy was selling them lotion, he wasn't selling them anything that was dangerous. To them or anything like that he was selling them lotion and is it is is it his fault that the people buying it are idiots is it his fault that the people bought that that he went and marketed guess what facebook has group after group after group of these 5g conspiracy theory idiots right so not only did he did he provide a product but he he facebook completely made it fish in a barrel fish in a barrel let me tell you something. Some of these people you're callously referring to as idiots <laughs> are my friends, okay? I have no doubt. Yeah, and listen, I here's why I, here's where you and I have a difference of opinion. I'm an anarcho capitalist um kind of a Austrian school of economics, value subjective. If somebody buys this and it brings them value, it brings them comfort. I, I no. It's no. your money. It's no. their money. They're, no, hold on. They are they are free. Maybe not wise enough to make choices that are good for them. But listen, I think people are going to make choices that I disagree with. They're going to buy things I don't like. Um, and if this guy has some mitigating thing in there that he says, "Hey, this does do something, some sort of exfoliant, uh, emollient, or something." that does facilitate some sort of barrier, right? Whether or not that the 5G, like, that's irrelevant. No. I think the, the wider the wider context of it defending against 5G or 5G even being a problem is irrelevant, right? No, but it is because he's marketing. This is why there's a difference. Hey, I'll give you an example, right? There's a difference between what I call this a scam and being I am a true-to-life capitalist. Right, I am a true to life capitalist, and here's why. There is a guy, and 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 uh, we'll try and I'll try to get him on here. I know him through I, I know him through a friend of a friend, but the guy is a multimillionaire, and he will tell you flat out, 
100%. The guy has made millions selling nothing but Vaseline, petroleum jelly, right, to golfers because he calls it putting grease, right? It's Vaseline. He makes no frame about it. It is 100%. You go down to the store, Walmart, Walgreens, and buy petroleum jelly, and you can use it in exactly the same way. There's no difference in the thing. He just puts it in a different jar with his logo and markets directly to golfers in golf pro shops or whatever and charges like $50 a bottle instead of three or whatever it is. I have zero problems with that because he's not making a claim that is inaccurate in any way. Well, let me let me push back on that by saying this much. If we are agreeing here that there is no meaningful danger to 5G, and how, how then can one say he's making a claim that is false? Because there is no danger to 5G. So if you put the lotion on or don't put the lotion on, you're not going to have a problem. Because the lotion doesn't protect you from 5g that's the scam part of it i have if he called it 5g lotion i got no problem with that 5g is just a name but he calls it 5g repellent lotion yeah and listen <laughs> 5g repellent i kind of dig it man <laughs> I mean... I, I, well i knew you would you're kind of a scammy guy and, I, and i'm not a scammy guy i'm not a scammy guy i would never do this appreciate a good scam you appreciate i appreciate I should, a good scam. I, you appreciate a good scam which is why i knew you would like this story and again did this guy do anything i think is illegal i i, I don't think so right no again assuming that he did should this guy go to jail absolutely not there are a lot of, of you know not. but he, I do appreciate, which is why we talk about we're talking about it on this show. The guy saw what he saw as a market. Yeah, saw some fish in a barrel, and he got out. You know what I mean? His... Listen, and let me make this comparison. I know these kinds of people, and they always have their home remedies, and they go buy this thing and that thing, and they make a home remedy for whatever. God bless them. If you, if you, and here's the thing, I don't know what I don't know. They could be entirely correct. Sure. I'll give you an example. Someone in my family, they brought their baby home from the hospital, had some sort of rash, and uh, the baby had a rash, and the hospital's pulling, putting all, and this is true to life, all sorts of prescriptions, and they're like, there's side effects, blah, blah, blah. And my mom tells them, just put some coconut oil on the affected area, and it'll be gone in two days. And they go, oh, okay, <laughs> coconut oil. Three days later, they go, uh, we put coconut oil on it, and it works. It has no, and there's no side effects. And so I don't always, and the problem is I have more of those stories than I do where, so I'm just saying, like, do I think this is fake? Yes. <laughs> do I think it's hilarious? Yes. <laughs> is my biggest regret about this particular story that I didn't come up with it? Yep. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, As it we is. mentioned in our Quibi story, you only need one dumb thing to pop off for you to build on that success, even if it's across various industries. Yes, sir. I don't know if this guy's going to get charged with something because I don't know what the heck you charge him with. Well, I don't if think you is... charge him. I think they, I think they just took his ability away to sell that. Yeah, and I think it way. was the yeah. company where he was selling it that took their like they they pulled him from their sales platform. Yeah. But my question is, I know that you can go buy right now for fifty bucks. You plug it into your house, you plug it into somewhere in your wall, and it blocks 5G signal. It doesn't. <laughs> hey, we sitting here talking about how this guy got it taken away. Obviously, you found it on eBay. And Amazon, right now, you can put a, Danny can put a link. You can literally go for, I think, $39. And like you said, it's a sticker, Danny. It's a It, it says 5G repellent sticker yeah. that you put on your cell phone. Because apparently and it's going to affect your phone as 5G is going to negatively you know, affect your phone too. Okay, listen. I think there's a there's a so if we have some Italians in the audience, you know they they have this they have this superstition about the eye. If somebody gives you the evil eye, uh, it's well, actually a, this Hispanic is a, as well. This is, the ojo, right? The evil yeah, eye, yeah, the ojo. Yeah. yeah. This is the tradition in my in my in my family's culture as well. They have to in order to repellent, they have to have a horn. They have different different things. This is nothing new, okay? That, so if you are... That's and true. So, and, and for the sake of the conversation, I'll say, 
let's just put this in that category and say you have a superstition. And somebody not allowed to, you know, sell you something to ward off your superstitious belief? I think you get into a gray area. I think there are some people out there that would argue that by feeding into those superstitions, and and, and I do agree with you, by the way. If, if you, I don't care what you're if you crystals if you believe rubbing yeah. a crystal on you makes you healthier and it does by the placebo effect good on you don't care but if if it, rubbing a sleeping with a crystal underneath your pillow makes you happier good on you okay i have no problem with that however that person that is then there's a difference between a person selling you that crystal because you're actively looking for it and someone convincing you that this right. crystal is going to make you happier and whatever i think there's a gray area line between a con yeah, and and someone just believing in a superstition so i had a loved one who was really sick and she was i shouldn't say easy but I could understand how it'd be easy for her in the situation that she was in to feel like to to bet on anything, to try whatever, right? Sure. And 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 the scumbags came out of the woodwork to try and sell her whatever the whatever nonsense they had. And I so the, on, from that perspective, I think that's scummy behavior, right? Right. But if you're a person who goes crystals work, I, okay. Right. Like, if you, like, I have no compunction about the person who goes, I'm a palm reader. We both know you're scamming, right? We both know you're scheming. <laughs> hey, you and, just stuck up for superstition. You can't separate palm reading from superstition. It's all one big category there, Bubba. So, he, and I agree. And listen, I'm a person who is deeply religious. And on some level, intellectually, I go, eh? <laughs> some, of what I, some of what I believe that is ob- that I believe to be objectively true. Right. It's a little kooky. So yeah. I don't want to be hypocritical in saying, well, I get to believe in my kooky thing, which generates billions of tax dollars, uh, untaxed profits for various people, right? Because I'm, I am a simp sucker consumer of like if John Chris puts out, you know, if he ever gets to release his mm-hmm. comedy special, he is a he's my generation of Christian guy and he's funny. Right. So I'll consume his deal. So what I'm saying is I don't want to be hypocritical, but at the same time, if you have a loved one, maybe it's your responsibility to be like, hey man, you want to buy crystals? Great. But if you're paying for the extra crystal you're paying an extra thousand dollars to have a shaman bless your crystal. Maybe that's where. <laughs> well, obviously there's a line in there, but I do agree with you again. Like I said, let's just say for a scenario, I had Grandma Mary, right? And Grandma yeah. Mary was afraid of 5G. She's read somewhere that 5G is going to kill her or give her a disease right. or cancer or whatever. If if this lotion that cost me thirty six dollars made Grandma Mary feel better that she wasn't going to die today because the evil 5G was going to invade her home with ghosts or whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> then is it is it worth $36 and her peace of mind? Sure. I'm completely down with that. But I yeah. think in business, you have to constantly figure out where that line between taking advantage, right, of someone versus again people's own ability to well i'm a person and i'm allowed if i want to spend my thousand dollars on a shaman to bless my right crystals i should have every right to do that where is that line right where is that line let me put it to you this way uh when i went to college i got a degree and part of i have a double major part of my degree is counsel um and uh my mother's in the business as well she's a doctor in the in the let me, let me put it to you this way. You go to someone and you say you have all of this childhood trauma. It's going to take five years of therapy and that costs money. Right. Or we're going to give you this 5G lotion and you're going to feel good. <laughs> it's 36 bucks. <laughs> and if we, if we calculate it that way, like we have to put someone to th- so much therapy to overcome their issues that are leading them to this conclusion, Right. Where if we just give them a comforting lie for a brief period, it will absor- you know it will help absorb some of that trauma. 
Give him the 5G, anti-5G repellent sticker, bro. <laughs> well, but that's your opinion, and you're allowed to have it, and you are an idiot. Um, I'm an idiot, yeah. and I'm allowed to have a completely different opinion that it's a little scammy, right? You're, little you're scam- allowed to. I just don't know if I like the fact that you do, you know? <laughs> That's that's where I'm coming from. That's all right, man. That's all right. We I we don't always got to be right there on the same page. You can be on the little scummy side. I can no. be on the right side. I can be on the correct side of history, and you can be wrong. 